Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your August bonus reading. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's first tap in a little bit in the past. In the past, we have healing, elixir. You will find the cure to the problem at hand with ease. So did that happen to you? Since this is coming out as past energy? There was something that you needed solving and you figured it out quite easily. Think back. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is all about. We have here the Three of Swords. Ooh, heartache, betrayal, some kind of hurt. It could have been by the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Empress. Okay, that's Libra Taurus energy. But I'm thinking that you, um, you might, why do I feel like you might have been dealing with someone? It could be any sign. The King of Wands that was very passionate. I might even be like in a, a higher position, you know. But you actually went into your Empress energy. And you say, no, I'm not taking that. And you walked away. So maybe that's the way you dealt with this thing. You realize that this person was not doing right by you. And you say, no, I am the Empress. Male or female does not matter. I'm talking about the energy of the Empress. Very creative. And also the Empress is like, um, you know, just knowing your self-worth here. I think that's the what you found out the cure was, to, to step into your self-worth because you know you're better than the way this person treated you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. But you tell me if there's something else. Okay, so now, the present energy. What's going on with the present energy? Moon goddess, you need to go with the ebb and flow of the tides now. Okay, and we're in the process of, of a full moon which in some parts of the country is today, the day that I'm recording. You're going to be seeing this the next day, which will be the full moon in other parts of the country. So, either way, it's the effects of the full moon. So, you need to go with the ebb and flow of the tides now. Okay, of course, it's, this is a whole month of August anyway. Let's see. Let's clarify that more. The magician. Ooh, I like this. You are manifesting here. You have all the tools you need to manifest whatever you need to manifest. Look at this. You have all the knowledge right at your fingertips. It's also, I'm, I'm feeling that, you know, if you want answers, just put the question out there. You know, that's like, put the question out. Say, okay, this is what I need to know. Spirit, guides, angels, whoever you, you, you speak to. And just let it go and that's what I'm saying let go with the um, the ebb and flow put it out there let it go and then watch what comes back you will get the answer that you will get the answer you seek and we have a knight of wands it might even come in very quickly here it's something to do with passion with the knight of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius but this is your passion also Keep in mind that you guys are... Did I say that already? Keep in mind. Why am I saying that so much? I'm sorry about that. Um, that you guys are... Um, jack of all trades. Might be a different solution to your problem than you thought. Four of Swords, you're going to be healed here. Love it. So, And this is also with this Four of Swords. Whatever happened in the past, this Three of Swords, this hurt, this pain... You spoke your truth, you got to the truth here, you found out the truth, and you healed the situation. Love it. Okay, so now, let's see. The hidden influences. What is the hidden influences? Let's see. Share knowledge. You give and receive teach. teach. These readings, I cannot speak, no. I think this one I did all right in the first one. Every other reading I did today is like, all my words got all jumbled for some reason. Now it's happening. It's still happening. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Share knowledge. You give and receive teachings, wisdom, and mentoring. Hmm. This is a hidden influences. That you're able to do this. You know, what I'm picking up on this is that you, you know, you've explained to people certain things. You try to help them out. You know, they may not acknowledge it, 
But what I'm getting is they may not acknowledge, they may not say nothing to you, but it sinks in and it helps them. They use it anyway. I don't, it could even be on a subconscious level. I'm saying, gee, I had a feeling I had to do something. What was it? You know, and all the time it might have been you, Capricorn, that told them to do something or explain something to them or try to help them. But your sheer knowledge is helping them. And, you know, you, I, I just really feel like a lot of times you don't see it. Oh, hang on. Let me just put off my... I thought I clicked that off. Sorry about that. Okay, so now the share knowledge. This is the hidden influences. Yeah, this is good. Okay, now. Let's clarify this. Five of Wands. Some kind of um, competition, combat. Why did I say combat? Combat is coming up though. I say combat and, they, and I'm saying that. Why did I say? And they say yes, combat. That must mean something to someone. Okay. We have the two of cups. Ooh. Maybe someone is fighting a love connection here. Two of wands. Look at this. Two twos. So choices, decisions. Maybe two different paths. But I, I'm feeling like someone is... I don't know if it's you. I feel like more it might be the person you're dealing with knows that this is a very deep, serious connection as like no other, but they're fighting it. Now, that's not going to be for everyone. But I feel like someone's dealing with someone, and that's why I got the combat, I guess. Because they're going against it. They say, I don't want to do this. I want to be by myself. I don't want to be in their feeling, but they feel a very strong pull towards someone. But that, that's a totally different thing because mainly the energy I'm getting here is the shared knowledge as far as from your life um, experiences. You gained a lot of knowledge. And that's from the things that you had to go through, the rough times, the good times, the bad times. And knowing that even as bad as sometimes things were, there's always something good somewhere else happening in your life. I think you're sharing that with people. You're sharing that, okay, look at the glass as half full, not half empty type of um, energy I'm feeling. But there is two twos here, so there's definitely a decision. Okay, and five is changed too, so there's something changing here. But I think you're changing people's lives, and you're not even realizing it because you're not getting the um, confirmation that it's happening, but it is. Okay, so now, so I'm giving it to you. <laughs> okay, so now let's see about your energy. What's going on with you? Reflection. As you gaze into your past, you see the, the way to the future. Wow, isn't that intense? So as you look back on things, you're realizing you came a lot further than you thought, if you really think about it. Okay, so let's see what else we get on this. Judgment. Oh, yes. Look at how... You know, this card seems to like to come up in this deck with the Three of Swords here when the Three of Swords is on the table or it comes in afterwards. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, look, that cat looks all pissed off. <laughs> I love him. I want to hug him. Doesn't he look all pissed off <laughs> with the Three of Swords? But I just want to hug him. <laughs> okay, so anyway. <laughs> we have a Judgment and we have the Knave of Cups. So that would be the Page of Cups. And... The Knight of Cups. See, there's something about judgment on some kind of love connection or there's something about on the path. On this love connection be, could be in the family, could be a romance, could be a friend. But there seems like you might be making a judgment call. Some might even come towards you with their cup. They might first come as a page and then as a knight. You know, because they're a little, I, I feel like they're a little um, intimidated by you. Or embarrassed by what they did. So the na the knave, uh, which would be the page, would be um, maybe bringing a cup. Maybe it might be younger, immature, or just acts like that. And it might be apology. But then they might come back again with a stronger um, offer. Because of maybe reflecting too. To see, to go back on what was happening. I mean, I know this is your energy, but I'm feeling someone else's energy is involved here somehow. Okay. Let's see here. Not, of course, that's not for everyone. 
now let's see the next one is the influence of others let's see what the influence of others is going on here light the way your leadership skills are being called upon to guide others okay this almost feels like people are coming to you and asking you for help and you probably weren't even ready to do this but now you're finding out that you are the person to help this is like the hermit's lantern here going within and finding your answers your help that you have achieved within yourself in order to help others so you are being called upon to guide others and this is because of others influence over you or, or something that happened that influenced this to happen for you it could also be that somehow things went wrong in one section so you in your area of your life or something or, or in your field of your professionalism or your career that pushed you into this okay let's see we have here the queen of cups <clears throat> scorpio cancer pisces a lot of cups here a lot of love a lot of emotions have involved here the queen of cups is very loving nurturing and caring but very intuitive too and we have the queen of pentacles wow taurus virgo capricorn which also with the queen of pentacles um, it's more like this is more emotions and this is more material more like the root chakra okay let's see and we have here the six of wands yeah so you are going to be recognized for the work that you do you do it in a loving caring way and you also know how to talk to people on the level that maybe at the time that they need here so now with the queen of pentacles i would say that if someone's worried about their finances you know how to help them in that sense that you know how to guide them and you are going to get recognized for this for your skills and how you're able to guide others on whatever they need guidance from okay now what should you do here what should what does spirit spec thinks that you should do at this time let's see we have good timing check astrological transits to get the best dates for planning okay so pay attention to your astrology pay attention to your charts because then you know when the best time is to implement something or change something or um start something stop something whatever it is okay let's see what do we got for good timing knight of swords Ooh, this is the i can do attitude knight of swords failure is not an option knight of swords also is going to speak their truth there and they could be rather um harsh at times too but it might be what's needed okay and then we have here temperance and also balancing things out sagittarius energy patience you know look how these are like so opposite the knight of swords is like one of the fastest knights right it's like go for it get it and the temperance card is like wait don't rush anything so good timing you'll know when to move quick and when to take a break and then we have here the knight of pentacles is very slow wow this is the slowest night this is like take your time don't rush things make sure everything is correct so you like it's very interesting how we have the fastest night and the slowest night and then we have the temperance right in between that is wonderful especially for good timing it fits so well doesn't it <laughs> so check when you're supposed to move fast when you're supposed to slow down when you're supposed to back off when you're supposed to wait okay now and so i guess your chart will make a um get your chart done i mean really having the chart done is amazing to know what planets you have where and what happens and that and you start reading that you really get into astrology more and more people are going to be getting into astrology it's going to be like more like the it's not going to be like oh um woo woo or whatever people want to call it it's not going to be like that it's going to be like what, what do you mean you don't know your chart <laughs> for energy okay let's see what the final outcome is love goddess Ooh, your love you, you attract love attention and good sex into your life now all right guys <laughs> see what's happening you help others and it all comes back to you so let's see about the love god is here we have here two of pentacles so balancing out multitasking i hope it's not multiple lovers here for you i hope you find one perfect one i mean of course whatever you whatever floats your boat <laughs> okay but there might be a choice between two 
And then we have the Eight of Swords. In your head, okay, this might be it. You might have a choice between two people. And you might be in your head about it. Okay, we have here the Nine of Swords. Ooh, really stressing, not being able to sleep. Okay, let's see what the bottom is here. We have here Home and Hearth. It's time to clear your space and invite in fresh energies. Things are changing. Things are shifting. And then the bottom of this deck we have Ace of Wands. Look at that passion, desire. Starting something new here. This is wonderful. Inspiration. So it might be something that you're doing new around your home. You might be redecorating or you're inspired to do something to clear the space and start something new. So you can have all this fresh energy for all, all the changes that are going to be coming in for you. Because it looks like you're going through a lot of changes. It looks like... You know, you went through the necessary things that you had to go through in the past. And now it looks like things are starting to change for the better for you. But just remember, you know, we have to go. We have to experience the bad in order to appreciate the good. I just looked at the time. It was 1555. Uh, so it's the one and then 555. Five. New beginnings, a lot of changes. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here for you guys. I think it was a great reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And then just remember that at the... um. Right over here, it's to pop up the last reading I did for you, which was the August Career and Finance reading. So if you didn't check that out, just click on the little thumbnail, and I'll take you that reading. Those readings are longer, but they are, I have eight different placements that I, I put three cards down, and I put three more cards to clarify. So it does take me longer to go through that. And you know me, I don't dilly-dally. I just go, I go quickly here. So um, they're worth checking out. So if you haven't checked it out, please do. If not, maybe I'll see you on the next one. But anyway, thank you so much for viewing this video. I really appreciate it. And thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. And I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.